As the number of cases grows, so do efforts to develop a vaccine for swine influenza A H one N one. Dr. Wilbur Chen, who conducted vaccine trials for the avian flu at the University of Maryland, is among scientists who monitor animal flu viruses that move to humans. We found him in a vaccine research convention in Baltimore, Maryland. I think we, as uh, the vaccine researchers in, in this field, um, also would like to move the whole technology forward so that we could create vaccines very, very quickly. But the process of developing a vaccine could take three months, maybe more. Scientists begin by injecting live virus into fertilized chicken eggs, and then they wait. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control has already isolated a sample of the virus and has grown what's known as a seed stock. A seed stock is actually a strain of the virus. It's the first step in developing a vaccine. We have people who are very interested in flu, as you can imagine. Ed Makarski is chief scientist with Metamune, a company that produces vaccines. It has to be tested in animal models to be sure that it's actually safe to go ahead into people to make sure it's not, it is live attenuated and not still have some, some capacity to cause disease. It's a delicate balance between speed and the risk of side effects from the vaccine. Scientists are still haunted by the U.S. massive vaccination program against a swine flu outbreak in 1976. Although a pandemic did not develop, about 30 people died of a neurological disorder thought to be linked to the vaccine. The risk of having some reactions that might be just um, transient, maybe just a couple of days of pain or fever, um, I think would be outweighed by the potential lives saved if a virus were really moving through a population rapidly. The dosage then is determined at human clinical trials. Dr. Robert Belshi runs a vaccine development unit at St. Louis University's School of Medicine. It will take a number of months to produce the vaccine and do clinical trials with it. Can we do it between now and the fall? Uh, I'm sure the vaccine manufacturers are busy now figuring out what their timeline is and how much vaccine can they produce in the next few months. Makarski says they are. All of the companies who are involved in flu manufacturing would be prepared to rise to that need. The World Health Organization says several laboratories worldwide are working on a vaccine. Experts say swine flu could slowly diminish now, only to reemerge later this year. So scientists need to decide if that danger is great enough to include the new virus in the general flu vaccine this fall. We typically have our annual influenza vaccine that has three viral components in it. These are the viruses that we believe will circulate next year, and they've already been selected. Scientists say any determination is not foolproof because the flu is fickle. Influenza is unpredictable, and that's the only thing we can really count on. For now, the World Health Organization has advised all countries to activate their pandemic preparedness plan. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.